sorry about that. Uh, little malfunction with the uh, phone. Uh, so we're going to put in this ticker number that we have right here. And we try and look at the number at three digits at a time because it's six digits. Six, one, three. So you only have to look down two times. Now for those that have exceptional memories, you probably can look at it and get all the numbers. All right, and it says what? Ticket has already been paid for. Now, sometimes the customer can actually scan their card too fast and it doesn't read it. And so the customer will say that they paid for it. So here's a way that you can check the card in front of the customer. And you can show the total on the screen. So here's where uh, it's showing that you didn't pay with your card and you, all you have to do is simply take the card uh, from the customer and swipe it in front of them and go get the re and retrieve the receipt from the inside. Now this is our tutorial on card hopping. So we're gonna go back on the inside and we're going to look at these uh, service steps one more time so we have a general idea of what we need to be doing when we go outside. So again, our car hop service steps is greet, smile, say your name, make eye contact, read the order back, give them the receipt, offer them ketchup and salt, check back, and invite them back. Those are our service steps that we do every time we go outside to talk to a customer. Now also, I have my changer. I have my changer on me. I have my straws. I have my uh, small straws, my large straws. And I also have my wallet. So I'm equipped with everything that I need when I go out the door. That's what you want to do. Everything, one transaction. Give them the money, you give them the change, you give them the food, all at one time. Okay? Now, this is what we do as car hops. We are service ambassadors. We go out there and we take care of the customer. Now, we also have uh, one main thing that we do when we're dealing with upset customers, and that is blast. We have believe. Listen, apologize, solve, and thanks. So first we have to believe the customer. We have to believe that they are telling us the truth that their order was messed up. And then we want to listen. Now, listen is different from hearing. Now, a lot of times we may have a, we be in a relationship with someone, we say, oh, I hear you. No, we actually want to listen. We want to be attentive. We don't want to cross our arms. We don't want to shake our heads or be patting our feet to seem annoyed. And then we want to apologize. We want to be very apologetic to their need. We want to be apologetic, uh, apologetic to Whatever we did wrong, and whether we did it or not, we apologize. We accept that, and then we solve it. We want to solve it. We don't tell the customer no. We don't tell them that we're going to take care of it. We're going to resolve it. And then we want to thank them. We don't thank them for bringing it to our attention, giving us a chance to fix it before they leave. Every customer should be 100% satisfied when they leave our uh, drive-in. Uh, once again, I appreciate you for tuning in to watch this video. All right. And there is our service steps once again. Uh, and if you have any questions, uh, please always uh, consult your general manager. If any information I share is different from what you are trained in at your drive-in. But I appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to this, this channel. Thank you.